Hello and welcome to this tutorial series about how to create a cheap dynamic shadow for 3D characters in mobile games. I'm sorry in advance for my English and I hope that you'll be able to follow and understand. So as you know or not, real-time shadows for mobile are still quite expensive in terms of performance. Yet in some mobile games you can notice that the characters still cast a shadow on the floor. So how is it that they're doing it? Well, they are just using fake shadows. Instead of using real-time shadows, they are using a texture to fake those shadows. For this demo, I'll be using a character that I've created for a 3D mobile game for college, which was my final project. It was a PvP fighting game with knights for mobile. So, this is the result of what I want to show you. The shadow itself is just a simple plane with a simple PNG gradient texture and it's already built in the character's rig, so it will be easier to animate it instead of trying to animate it in Unity. So I'm taking it a step further and I'll show you how to make it to follow your character, character and how you can animate its movement and scale separately. In addition, inside Unity, I tweak the animation a bit to create the effect that when the character jumps, the shadow weakens, which I will also cover. For this tutorial, I'll be using Maya 2017 to show you the whole rigging process of the shadow. Basically, you can apply it to any other 3D software, only the tools might be different. You just need to understand the basic principles and logic. I will also cover how to bake your animation and how to export it to Unity. Inside Unity, I will show you how to import your animations and how to add them and play them. So I'm inside Maya 2017 and this is my knight character, it is just a low poly model. And here is a quick demo of the setup for the shadow's rig. It follows the cog, the center of gravity controller, as I move it around, it's always beneath it. And I also have this separate controller for override, so I can change the shadow's scale or move it around separately. In the next part, I'll start creating the plane for our shadow. 